For today's content, it will be about um, going to the developer function again for new developer developer who haven't know how to do the developer store and advertisement and then specifically we'll go through advertisement and um developer stuff inside of an adopt pet maps all right so um we'll go straight back into our example i'm not sure uh which one should we go first let's try uh the vietnamese lecture one first let's see what um the vietnamese lecture sell in his maps for developer shop and maybe advertisement as well all right um it's loading this map is quite on the heavy side but it's it's totally worth it because it's so invested all right so for uh for developer store in this example maps we have uh we have currency box random currency box uh, another random currency box but uh Looks like a more valuable currency here. We have some house key that you can buy with coins. And yeah, I think that's it. Oh, that's a lot of house right there. Alright, so for advertisement, I think I saw some advertisement in here actually. Oh wait, so maybe this is not the house here. This might be the, the pet card so you get some rare pets from buying in the shop as well all right so um for advertisement what is there for advertisement oh this one oh so y'all oh this is not advertisement these are oh these are advertisement okay so um these are like the um more premium pets that you can get in the games and i think watching advertisement maybe it's not the only way you can get these but um very this is a very nice setup for an adopt pet maps if you want to know how you can place a block outside of a creature i will show you how to do it because it's also a part of displaying your um, creation and we will go through that today as well so putting your pet inside of um, the glass block like this looks very cool um i will show you how to do it i think i know how to do it i think i tried it before um right let's see um is there any other like advertisement in this game oh this is also advertisement um i'm not sure what this box is though maybe another currency box but for advertisement all right i think that's it for the first um lectures map example for the second lectures map example is the thai lecture maps um i remember we have advertisement for pets as well and then something in the shop uh, let me double check that all right so for advertisement we do have yeah we do have pets and then for the shop we have currency yeah currency more valuable currency and these balloon are these for uh summoning pets hold on oh they they are for summoning pet right oh yeah okay so it's, it's quite similar so you sell currency and rare pets or pet skin in the shop and then for advertisement you also give advertisement for some uh exclusive or premium pets and maybe advertisement for currency box as well oh this is also advertisement this is cool I don't know what you get from this, maybe currency, but this is so cool. Ah, that's interesting. Alright, so, um, we already see like a lot of common thing in the two examples already, but let's try out the uh, Chinese Lee lectures maps as well. So we can conclude what you can actually add or um, put in your developer function in an adopt pet maps and how you can display them. All right, so this is the yeah, advertisement for pets as well. Okay, so the Chinese lecture doesn't put them in the class box, but that's that still look okay. All right, so that's advertisement. This is also advertisement. I think it's currency, so it's it's quite the same. Uh, for the uh, shop, we have um, oh we have paper. That's that's new. We have sign. I think this is for uh, like. Uh, role playing and this is for like um, 
putting sign around your house. Okay, and house key. Okay, so the Chinese Chinese lecture actually sell house key. Um, and the other lectures actually doesn't uh, don't sell the house key because they they want the player to actually play the game and get it. All right, interesting. These these are definitely pets, maybe rare pets. All right, so this is currency. Okay, so um, the only different things here is the house key for sale. All right, interesting. Okay, so since um, we already go through all the example, you guys already have a clear idea of what you can set up for uh, your developer's shop and your advertisement in your adopt pet maps if you are a developer if you're not maybe you will become a developer this season when you actually win some prize for the million camps and you should you should always repair your knowledge of being a developer because you can you can be promoted to a developer any times like randomly you can receive a mail saying that congratulations you have um, qualified as a developer so yeah, it's, it's never too early to learn about being a developer in MediaWorks. Alright, so um, as I already said, uh, first of all, I will show you again um, step by step how to set up your developer's shop here and how to set up advertisement because there are a lot of new developers after the last season. Alright, so maybe um, if you already know these um, things, then you can, uh, you can skip a bit and then come back after we finish this tutorial all right so uh, for the developer shop once you become a developer um i already tell you yesterday but let's go through it again you will have the um, function of developer shop that you can access to right here on top and then you can set up your items that you want to sell in your shop all right so for uh, the item you can custom your item with plugins and then you sell it in here maybe the pet or house key uh, exclusive pet for example and then you can select the currency you want to sell it by mini coins mini beams or mini points mini points will only be available for p user which is the phone which is the currency you get from watching advertisement um, this is also the easiest one to get mini beams is is the the, the, the most um, popular currency in the game but it will not generate profit for you so mini coins mini points will be the one that you you aim to um sell your stuff because as a developer you really want to get some profit as well so yeah um i would say that mini point is better right now because a lot of player on the phone actually get access to this point and they don't have to actually top up real money in the game so yeah Okay, so then you can add some tag to make it more eye-catching to the players like trending, new, or feature, or hot, anything you want, anything. And then you choose the uh, item category from these or you can make up a new category for the item you want to sell. And finally, you have the uh, selling price. So once you select the currency, you can set up the price whatever you want to. Um, so um, the... Um, like the uh the recommendation from mini captain is that when you choose mini coins it should be zero no wait one to ten so ten is maximum if you have a price tag more than 10 mini coins it will be a no no because no one will actually spend that much yet so make sure if you're a developer make sure you set up the price of mini coin from one to ten maximum so the most op items you want to sell will be 10 and the least one will be one mini coins all right uh, for mini beams, you can actually go as much as you want to because there has been a lot of players who are promoted to a developer and they have a lot of mini beams to spend as well. Alright, so for mini points, right now there's no recommendation from mini captain yet. But from my own experience, um, it should be from 10. Like the list you should set is 10, not 5, but 10. And then the maximum you should set is around 500 like the the most op item you should sell with mini point is 500 don't don't go above 500 because according to um, the amount of mini point player can get per day that is too much so that is just my own recommendation if you set up the price in mini point all right all right so after that you can try to uh, mess around with this you can turn it on or off the ads mode mean that if you turn it on the player can choose to watch an advertisement and get the item without paying the price. If you turn it off, the player will not be able to watch an advertisement to get items. 
Just keep in mind that even if they don't pay the price, but they watch the advertisement, you still get something from that because advertisement also will generate real profit for the developers. All right, so that should be it. When you set up done, you click confirm, and you have your item in your shop, and then you can add more item as long as it doesn't reach the maximum amount that you can see right here. You can set up a lot of item in your shop. And you click on save after that. Remember to click save. If you don't click save, it will not display what you have set up. Alright, once you save and once the player join the maps and they open the shop, they will see all of the items that you are selling and they can decide to buy it or not. Alright, so that is the shop shed setup. Um, the thing is that a lot of people don't really open up the shop like this. So how can you get them to actually open up the shop? Alright, so there's... Um, this is a trigger that um, is actually very popular amongst the developers in Miniworks. And if you are new, then I would definitely want to show you this. It's called the developer icon. And you should have one of your own because it's, it's quite an essential items to have as a developer. I don't know why I don't have mine here, but uh, it's so easy to create one. I will just show you again. Alright, I definitely lost my somewhere. <laughs> I remember having it and then it's just gone. Oh wait, there it is. Hold on. I found it. So okay, so this is my developer icon. So you can name it developer store. Um you can name your name in here. Um you set up the skill to this um this one right here. Because you want it to do nothing. And this is the only skill that you actually use it but it does nothing. Why you want it to do is nothing because then you can set up the trigger for it later on. Alright, so set this up to single target, uh, zero, zero, non char, and everything else. Alright, confirm and then save. And then you can add your developer icons in your maps. Alright, so um, the developer icon is just basically the item that will distinguish your, your games from all the developer because we have a lot of developer in the game right now. And so the, the developer icons that you're seeing right here will make the player distinguish your games from all the players' game. And like they want to support you, they know that is your games, that is your creation, and they can support you by just buying things from a shop. So um, in order to make a developer icons, you need to remember that it has like this circle shapes, and then you can add anything on the, the icons. Before you need to add this icons, but now you can be really creative with your developer icons and you can set up anything you can even set up animation for it like i do right here um right here i'm set up uh, like um, an anime character from fate and then i set up the star because i like gacha games and then of course i add my name in and my iconic um things which is the the black grounds okay so um you can build this um in like half an hour and you might want to really invest in this because you will use this in every maps since you become a developer, you will need to use it in every single map. Alright, so right now you see this does nothing. But what you will do is that you set up a triggers, which I'm show you right now. Um, you will call it the uh, developer shop triggers. So developer shop. Uh, developer. I misspell, misspell it completely. Alright, there we go. Alright, so what you want to do is that you go to event you want to set up the player use props and then go to condition you select items select that uh, developer icons of uh, your own here we go and then you go to action you go to um, um, the developer tabs right here if you're a developer you should have access to this tab right here All right so now you want to go to open developer store Right, so that should be the trigger to open the developer shop very easy. Right, so now once the hold on, hold on, I need to place it in here so I can check it out. Right, so once the player enter the games, make sure you give them these uh, items on their bar from the start, and once they use it like this, what the heck? <laughs> it's not broke again, is it? it? Make player open developer store. Alright, the, the trigger is not wrong. I can guarantee you that. Uh, but for some reason, it seems like the um, the developer store uh, triggers 
is not working. I I really thought that they already fixed that, but it seemed like they haven't. Okay, let me just try and change that. Maybe if we do it like um, maybe if we do it like this, it will work. Maybe. Let me just try it. If it worked this way, then I will show you this way. Okay, no. Okay, so the the trigger for the the, the shop opening is actually not working. Um, but this is the this is the correct trigger to do it. So when it's not broken, like it's it's fixed. You set up this trigger, and the player use the item. They will open your shop directly, right? So just keep this trigger in mind. Right now it's not working, but I can guarantee you this is the right trigger for it. Alright, so um. The next thing you want to set up is the advertisement. Uh, you already saw in all the maps when I run into or click into something, it say advertisement can only be played be on uh, the phone or the mobile version of the game. Then why do you need to set it up if you're on PC? Okay, so because the advertisement will generate real profit for developers, it's very essential that you set up advertisement inside your maps. For advertisement, you already see that player, no, not players, but all the lectures they set up um, exclusive pet or currency box for the uh, advertisement. So what you want to do is you want to do the same things. You have um, your exclusive pet or currency box and then you create a plugin blocks out of that. So I already have the blocks here. Um, this is the um, this is the block. This, this is not the animal but the blocks. So I have the block like this. So when you have the blocks, you can set up the advertisement triggers. Alright, so for example, this block right here. Uh, right now, it doesn't have any advertisement on it. But um, you can easily set that up with um, two triggers. So this will be the two trigger for advertisement that I have shown you before. If you uh, have joined the uh, developer class before. But if you're new, this will be your first time seeing the triggers. Alright, so um, ads. Advertisement uh, in short is ads. One. So the first thing you want to do is when player click on blocks um, right here and you select the clocks, um, not clocks, the blocks that you have just set up. You select this to block time in event. Select this to um, yeah the blocks that you just set up and then you go here. You go all the way down to developer again and you will see play the advertisement. You click on it and you leave it there. You leave it there. You create a new triggers. You name this one to advertisement two, and then you go to condition. You go all the way down to play. You will see the play tab right here. Click on uh, play the ad, and then make sure this is true. Make sure that this one is true. All right. Then go to the action. You will select uh, player again. Now you can select what player will get when they watch the ads completely. So in my example, the player will get the exclusive pets when they uh, watch the ads fully. So now I want to add one items, which is the exclusive pet. So I will select that, which is this one. And then to the player in trigger event. Do not worry if you see this one is in orange because we will go back to the uh, ads one trigger here. Now you want to select these red string right here. So you want to select a target um, character string. You want to type something like free exclusive pet you want to type like what the player will get after watching the advertisement and then for the triggers you want to select the second triggers you have set up for the advertisement so which is the advertisement 2 right here all right so that should be it that should be the complete advertisement trigger for one blocks so this is how you do it you have two triggers for one advertisement all right so now test it out we go to play mode I will click on it and will say dear player advertisement only support on mobile version. Um, if you're on a phone and you do this, it will say that do you want to watch an advertisement to get a free exclusive pet? Because that is what I type in the trigger. So now you know how to set up the advertisement. You can do as many advertisement as you want to in your maps. And make sure you um, decorate your advertisement blocks for the player to know that they should click on it. So there's two ways you can decorate it. One is adding some animation to the blocks. Right now my block is just standing still. But I can make it more um, eye-catching for the players by adding effects on it. So you just want to select the uh, position of the blocks like this. 
and then you want to um, create a triggers like this so when the game is created uh, where is it game created and then play uh, special effects down here um, as position right here so this way you can make the um, the position more eye-catching with some of the special effects you can do multiple effects on the same position to make it more eye-catching for the player to want to click on make sure you look for the effect with this um, icon on the uh, top corner because this is the repeat icon the uh, effect that doesn't have that icon it will disappear after like one one time that is played so make sure you find this effect right here alright so set it up and then your advertisement lock should look hold on I think I didn't set up the uh... oh yeah I haven't set this up should look more eye catching and easier to um, be clicked on by the players like this see is way are uh, more obvious like this all right all right so that's how you do that um i also promised that i will show you how to put your pet inside of the glass blocks i think there are two ways you can do this so i will show you both um first we will test it out and we can actually put our pet inside the blocks all right so we need the glass blocks obviously and we need something that they can stand on so let's use this uh, no, not not this. Uh, let's use something else. Let's use let's use this. Um, yeah, this for the pet to stand on. And let's grab one of my pets and try to put them on. Uh, I don't know if they can actually stand on this. Uh, we will also need this. I think this will work as well. Uh, so put the pet like no stop. Just just stand still, please. Dang it. Um. We cannot actually do it if the pet keep running like that. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just set up the attribute of the pet to not move him. And so we, we can do this without the pet running around like crazy. How much HP do you have? Oh my god. Alright. Uh, let me just... Let me just lock it in, in position. Oh wait, not this one. What the heck happened to you? Uh, let me just select a mode. There we go. That's look cute. All right. Um, should turn this off. All right. Just for the examples, we will need the pen to stand still. Uh, after that, maybe you can turn the movable button on again. But right now, I need it to stand still. There we go. And now you want to use this. I think when you uh, change this into the glass blocks, you can easily place it in. I'm not sure because I haven't tried this way before, but it should. Oh, there we go. It works. <laughs> what do you know? It's actually worked. All right. So I think I don't. I don't actually necessarily show you the second way because it's it's way more easy with this way. The second way in order to do this was when there was no there was no Terran editor and and we have to find another way to actually get the blocks inside the pet like this. See, it looks so cute inside the glass blocks. It is so dub looking. All right. So. Um, just for the sake that I actually promised to show you the second way as well. Um, I will actually show you how to do the second way without the Terran editor. But keep in mind that this was a very old way. A very outdated way that we, we used to do without Terran editor. So um, maybe you already know it. Maybe you haven't. I will just show you because I promised that I show you guys two ways to do this. So you will need this. You will need this box. Or this one, um, you will need the class blocks also. So you grab this one, and then you need the um, electric blocks. Where is it? Where is my electrics? All right, there is. I think that's all we need. So what you want to do is you want to go up like this, uh, like this, like this. You already know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> And now you want to place block class right here. You want to delete all of these. You want to delete this. Actually, hold on. You need to place it right this. All right, now you put in the electric blocks like this. And voila. What the heck? Oh no. Uh, my bad. I should have deleted that. Um, I should have deleted the, the arm first. Hold on. Let's do it again. Voila. And delete this one. All right. 
that's work. See, so there's two, there's actually two ways to do this. But you can already see that using the Terran editor takes like, how? Three seconds? And this one takes like, tens? So it's, it's not actually way harder, but um, I definitely recommend using the Terran editor for this. I, I really like putting your your pants in the, the blocks like this. Maybe I will do this in my um, Attack Titan match, just to display the Titan. It looks so dope though. Alright, so I don't know if I want to keep them there, but hey, let's just keep them there. Alright, so that's for displacing uh, your advertisement. Alright, so now, one more thing before uh, we end this uh, tutorials, which is the new function for uh, developers that um, just uh, come out the previous um, update. So, I will show you how to use the new function for developers. Alright, so um, you can select any event you want. Like for example, when player reswarm or when player attacks. Uh, for example, I would just use when player attack. Um, and then for um, action, you want to go to down here. The new um, triggers for developer is right... I think here. Oh wait, it's, it's still in the developer tabs. And you will see the display products purchase window. So what this does is it will show a specific products in your shop. So let's say you have multiple products, this trigger will allow you to select one of the products to display to the player in specific condition depend on the event you set up to the player. So free um, exclusive pet. I will show you how it works also. Uh, pet. Alright, so let's say we have this and I set up the event to when player attacks. So now, whenever the player attacks, uh, let's try to attack something. Alright, just like that. This will appear. Um, so it will display one product in your shop. Depends on which one you want to set up for the player to see like this. And it's so convenient. They don't even have to open a shop to actually look at it. So that's how you do it. Um, you cannot actually set up the time that it will disappear. But um, yeah, it's still very convenient. The time will all always be 15 seconds. But the player can always turn it off. Um, on PC, if you want to turn this off, you can just press X, S cup, you know, X, I don't know what, I call it X, X cap button, but I'm not sure if, if that is the right name for the button, but hey, um, that's how you do it. So that should be all of the triggers for the um, developer system and function in the game right now. And for the adult pets map, again, you can set up advertisement for currency and for exclusive pet or pet skin. Uh, for the shop, you can set up more uh, exclusive pet or more currency box or even the house key. Like let's say the player want to own a house that uh, quick without working, they can also buy it in the shop. So that's all the thing you can set up for an adult pet map. If you come up with any other ideas, you can definitely put it in the shop or advertisement. It won't cost you any points, um, like you won't lose any points if you set up new things that the teacher or the lecture haven't teach you, but instead you get more points from being creative. So just, just don't hesitate to put in anything that you come up with, that you think it will work, and maybe you get more, um, more extra points during the uh, final phase of the um, resort for the season 5. So yeah, we definitely look forward to some of you guys' creation, alright? That should be all of the tutorial part for today.